Okay, so there's definitely no doubt that DJI is up to something really, really cool. And if you are an independent shooter or used to working on smaller or independent crews, it's something that I think you should be really, really excited about. And really the big question I think comes down to is what exactly is DJI up to here? Oh, hey, and do me a favor, if you find anything on this channel useful or interesting, do me a favor and just hit that like and subscribe button. It is so hard to keep a YouTube channel up and going these days, and your subscriptions are absolutely the engine that lets this, in, this channel keep on going and bringing you content like this. Now, the way I got here was my surprise this week about the announcement of the RS4, and more specific, what the RS4 was. Now, I'm not really surprised about the quality of this gimbal. I'm not surprised at its capabilities. You know, I'm a huge fan of DJI products. I think most of us know that DJI does make fantastic products. For me, what really surprised me is just how at first glance, what a seemingly incremental update this was. And if you followed the RS update lines, you know, the RS2 was a gigantic update over the RS1. And the RS3 brought a lot of features from the RS2 that were really, really helpful. The longer arms to get bigger cameras, the auto locks, Lots of little things on there that made a big difference. And I was actually surprised when I saw this RS4 that it really didn't have a lot. So my first impression was honestly, I was disappointed by this. <laughs> Man, when you start looking deeper, it really reminds you that first impressions can often be very, very misleading. And I think in this situation, you really have to look to the forest for the trees and see the big picture that DJI is creating here. And if you're a content creator, that big picture actually is really exciting if you can just be patient and see how it all endowed. And it really comes down to the big look here. Because if you'll notice, the RS4 Pro was announced in conjunction with the DJI Focus Pro. And when I saw those two products announced side by side, that's really when all things kind of came into focus, no pun intended. And it's obviously not an accident that both of these standalone products were announced on the same day. And the Focus Pro is DJI's LiDAR system, and I've been using the DJI LiDAR system on the RS3 Pro for the last year. And it's one of those things I don't use it all the time, but there have been times that I've used it that it has been absolutely critical in allowing me to get certain shots on my gimbal with the cinema lens, and it's been absolutely fantastic. There's so much potential buried in that thing that I really hated having to have be tethered to my gimbal to use it. However, now that the DJI Focus is released as a new standalone system, in addition to 15 millimeter rods, which says a lot about where they're seeing this thing going, you can really now see where DJI path is going. And the way it kind of looks to me is that DJI has taken a page from Marvel and now they're in the process of universe building. They're creating a shared universe, which means that now we are really starting to see the emergence of a cohesive DJI ecosystem. And it seems that DJI is currently in the process of building what looks like to me an entire budget cinema ecosystem. And this is really, really excited if you're a content creator like me. And the reason for that is because this is gonna be a situation where the whole is going to be more powerful than the parts. And this is extremely <laughs> welcome news to all of us independent creators, contents out there, because you can now get a system and you can begin to build it up. And what I like about this, this means you can slowly build up and integrate a system over time. It's not this insurmountable thing to do. You can get what you need and over time, like Legos, begin stacking and building a system that lets you really start getting high-end professional looking results. So while the RS4 on the surface may not be that big of an upgrade in and of itself, if you combine it with all the other DJI cinema ecosystems, you suddenly have something that's actually super, super powerful. Because it looks like right now the RS4, while it works as a standalone gimbal system fine, it's really designed to be used in conjunction with the DJI Focus Pro and the DJI Transmission System. Now, if you take all three of those systems and combine them to one, you're, you're looking at, a, you're coming up to $6,000 to get all those systems together, which is very, very expensive. But the good news is all of these systems work on their own. So what that means, you build them up in pieces. And honestly, when you compare this to how most cinema equipment is cost out, this is actually an incredibly affordable kit. I mean, if you look at how the RE systems are or a lot of the Sony stuff, it gets very, very expensive. And don't even get me started on RED. So the fact that you can get all this stuff for less than $6,000 is actually extremely powerful. And I think if you're a content creator, you really need to be aware of this because this gives you so much future proofing of your gear 
that you have to start factoring this in when you're buying the equipment. And what I really like about this piece of building like this is that the gear grows with you. And that means any old peripherals that you have, because DJI has been so consistent from the RS2 to the RS3, now to the RS4, a lot of the peripherals you use will grow with you. So this lets you have that future proofing of your gear that I think a lot of people overlook as important when they're buying stuff. You want something that not only works for you now and improves your shooting, but hopefully can grow as you get other parts of your gear and goes seamlessly with it. Now, the big question I have for this is where does the RS3 Pro fit into this system? I'm really hoping that DJI comes out with firmware updates that allow the RS3, which is already such a capable and very, very effective gimbal, I hope it can utilize into this DJI Focus and with the transmission system, I just hope it's seamless because honestly, I would love that. I don't wanna to have to go buy a new gimbal every time, but I don't know if the RS3 Pro is going to do that. I've been trying to research it. This is such a new announcement. I haven't found that much about it. I'll let you know when I do. So I think that means that all of us out there that are DJI gimbal operators have a big decision. I mean, how do you wanna start building this up? Do you wanna go and just start building with the gimbal and go from there? Do you maybe wanna start with the transmission? Do you wanna start with the focus? The good news now, because we have this ecosystem, we can decide and build up over time. So I think this is just really, really interesting news about the DJI RS4. And I thought it was something that if you're out there shooting would be very interesting for you to know in your making your decisions when you're purchasing your gear. Anyway guys, I'd love to hear what you guys say with this. Leave me notes and comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.